B puns and punching bad guys. What more could you want? K Dogs movie review. The Beekeeper is directed by David Ayer and stars Jason Statham, Josh Hutcherson, Emmy Raver Lampman, and a few other familiar faces. Statham plays a man living out his retirement peacefully as a beekeeper until he sets out on a quest for vengeance after one of his close friends, an elderly woman, is horribly, horribly wronged. I think most people, including myself, when going into a movie, hold certain expectations for what the experience is going to be like based on certain actors, the genre, the director, or other factors. With Jason Statham, I expect I'm going to see an over-the-top action movie with dumb dialogue and fun characters. I'm not expecting Citizen Kane. I'm expecting a fun time. Monkey brain action is something I heavily enjoy, if done in a fun way. What especially intrigued me about this movie, though, is that it's rated R. No limitations. And I gotta say... <sighs> This movie is fucking great. It delivered exactly what I was expecting, but with an extra hint of awesomeness. It kind of reminded me of going to McDonald's. I go for a quick, easy meal. Nothing fancy, but it's tasty for what it is. I know exactly what type of experience I'm going to have when I order a Big Mac. And with this movie, I got a fucking Big Mac. This movie was great because it felt like it knew what it was. Nothing too serious. Just a fun, over-the-top action movie. However, in this movie, it's heightened because, as the title suggests, it's filled with B puns. This movie feels like an SNL skit brought to the big screen, and I say that with absolute praise. Statham stares at the camera with a straight face and tells the audience why it's bad to steal from the elderly. I loved it. Most of the actors look like they're having a great time with this movie, too. They ride that perfect balance between playing their roles too seriously or too goofy. Statham does a great job as always, playing the seasoned ex-military, Green Beret, CIA, Kung Fu master, fill-in-the-blank, violent man. The villains are laughably evil, so it makes rooting for Statham easy. The characters are simple. You root for the good guys, you hope the bad guys get beaten up in horrific ways. And they do. The action in this movie is great. It's no John Wick, but the choreography is passable. A lot of shaky cam, but some creative kills that I enjoyed. If you like seeing Statham beat people up, you're going to have a good time. The story is, well, a Big Mac. Exactly what you think it's going to be. The bad guys do some bad things to Jason Statham's friend, and he gets his revenge. But what made me enjoy this movie even more, I already was having a blast with what they were doing. And the story decides to dial it up even further. It's ridiculous. It's incredibly stupid, quite unbelievable, so many holes, so ridiculous. But I didn't care. I loved it. It doesn't overstay its welcome either. It sits at about an hour and 45 minutes. I only really have two minor negatives with this movie. One was the use of Jeremy Irons character. I think he's a terrific actor and can play a great villain. He's got a great voice for it. I think his character is pretty underutilized in this movie. They could have done a lot more with him. The other I'll mention in the spoiler section. So overall, I enjoyed this movie. It's wacky, it's indulgent, but it's fun, and it felt like the creators knew exactly what they were doing. If you like watching Jason Statham tell B puns and punch bad people, I'd totally recommend this movie. Time for spoilers. You've been warned. I could mention every single crazy thing I loved about this movie's plot, but I'll just keep it to the minor negative I had. They end up connecting our main villain to the fucking President of the United States. Money that was obtained illegally by her son was used to get her elected. In the movie, she doesn't know any of this and is actually surprised by it and vows to tell everyone the truth, even if that means stepping down. I think they should have dialed it up one step further and revealed that the President was behind all of it and knew about her son's scheme. Have her whip out a machine gun and start fighting Jason Statham. Go all out with it. I think it could have been the cherry on top. I was fully expecting her to be evil, and so was a little bit disappointed to find out that wasn't the case. Let me know what you guys think of this movie in the comments below. Recommend me some stupid monkey brain action filled with puns. I love them and need more of them in my life. Till next time.